A large crowd on hand tonight here at the Vine Center. The Vine Center was rocking back in the 2008-2009 basketball season, and freshman sensation Seth Curry was a big reason why. Here comes Curry. Lays it up and in. Now Curry with a long three for the top of the hand. Oh. Now he puts up the three, drains it. Oh. Oh. And another nice move by Curry. Oh, nice play by Curry. Oh. Curry would average over 20 points per game that season and be named Conference Freshman of the Year. He would go on to finish his collegiate career at Duke, but this past weekend returned to where it all began, making just his second visit to Liberty since that memorable freshman campaign. A lot of different emotions. First coming on back on campus for the first time in a while. Uh, a lot of different great memories here. Um, just come back and find thinking about some of the games I played, some of the people that were here seeing all familiar faces. It's just been a great experience being back here and just taking in the whole environment. A big reason for Curry's return to campus is his relationship with head coach Richie McKay, a relationship that has remained well beyond the one year they spent together. He's one of my favorite people in the world. Uh, he gave me a great opportunity coming out of high school to play here at Liberty and just gave me a lot of freedom. Uh, really gave me a lot of confidence coming out of high school and was one of the few people to believe in me. So I owe a lot to him and it's just good to come back here and try to just uh, do whatever I can to help his program going forward. Curry is coming off his first full season in the NBA where he scored almost seven points per game for the Sacramento Kings. Undrafted out of college, he had to work his way up through the D-League, proving himself all along the way. While his journey hasn't been easy, the lessons he's learned have been invaluable. I learned so much from my role after college, trying to make it in the NBA. My, my journey was a different one, obviously. I uh, went through the D-League and wasn't drafted and things like that, but at the end of the day, I like to love to play basketball. So as long as I'm on the court playing, it, it's fun for me. And, and no matter where that is, I'm happy. So I'm, I'm fortunate now for it to be in the NBA. And the things he learned on his road to the top are now valuable bits of advice he was able to pass along to this current Flames roster. I try to give him a little pointers about uh, just making a transition from high school to college, uh, just trying to tell him what, they, what Coach K wants to see out of him and just try to encourage him is the biggest thing. I was telling the guys, if you, if you buy into the system, if you work hard every day and make the most of your opportunities, good things are gonna happen. So it's, it's good for me to come back here and just try to uh, let them ask me questions and, and answer them and be as honest as I can. While it's uncertain where Curry will play next season, as he's currently a restricted free agent, one thing is for sure, he'll always be considered a Liberty Flame. Oh, what a three by Curry. 